Okay, welcome everybody to Go in 5 Minutes, episode 10. Today we're going to solve a concurrency problem called the daily walk. And uh, if you go and click on this link, you can see the complete problem outline. Um, but in short, uh, this is a problem that simulates two people getting up in the morning uh, and getting ready for their day concurrently, but also making sure that they get out of the house um, with the doors locked, uh, and of course all their stuff ready to go, they've showered, they've uh, gotten dressed and all that. And also uh, the, the main thing here is making sure that the security system is armed and ready to protect their house for the day. So really quick before I get started, I want to mention that we're 106 subscriptions shy of 1,000 on YouTube, and I'd love to get up to 1,000. So if you haven't already, go on over to youtube.com slash go in five minutes and uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and I'd, I'd love that, but uh, even more importantly, thank you guys all for tuning in today. Thanks for your support. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start a little concurrency series on Go in 5 Minutes. So concurrency is pretty near and dear to my heart. So if you've got ideas for problems or topics you'd like covered, go on over to issue number 14 there uh, and just write a little comment for what you'd like to see. So I mentioned this problem. Uh, I think we can get right into the example code. So we've got some uh, simulation functions here. This is the getting ready function. Pretty simple as you can see there. Same thing with putting on their shoes. This is a, a very discrete step in that problem if you read it. Um, so putting on their shoes is also pretty simple, pretty similar to getting ready as well. We've got our arming the alarm part of the morning here, uh, which is even simpler, but I'll explain this in more detail in a second. And then we've got our main function which I'll explain in a lot of detail, right after we start up this program. And the reason we're starting it up now is because it takes a little while to run. So there we go, you can see it started. Uh, and let's go back to the code here, and let's focus on our main. So we've got here on line 63 to 69, this is the part where Alice and Bob get ready. So you can see what's happening here is, we use a wait group to make sure on line 69 that before we continue, Alice and Bob have completed the getting ready step. Now this pattern is called a barrier, and we'll see this used more uh, a little bit below. So once they're done getting ready, we've made sure that there are no other go routines running that we care about right now. Then we go and we arm the alarm. Now this is a little bit more complex. We use three channels to figure out what's going on. So we start up this, go, uh, this uh, arm alarm function in a go routine. And we communicate with it here on line 76 by closing the start arm channel. And that says to the, alarm, the arm alarm go routine that it should begin arming the alarm. Uh, then we print out that we're arming it. And then uh, we wait for arm started to be closed. And that is confirming to us that the arm alarm go routine has in fact begun the starting process. Now we go down here and use the familiar barrier pattern, though this time with three go routines. So the first one is printing out that the alarm is counting down. And this is definitely happening because arm started up here on line 78 has received or been closed. This is now definitely happening while the time sleep uh, is, excuse me, while the alarm is counting down. And that's done inside of, inside of a time sleep. And then we also have the other two go routines that we care about for the barrier. Uh, those are for Alice and Bob putting on their shoes. And now here's the second barrier. And this will return once the alarm is counting down message has been printed out. And once Alice and Bob are done putting on their shoes. On line 95, then they exit and lock the door. And then nine, line 97 is the last step of the whole day, or excuse me, the whole morning. Uh, and that is when the arming is done, and that's after the alarm's delay has completed. Uh, so this is the last channel, if you remember, in this uh, arm alarm go routine on line 75. And then, of course, we can print out that the alarm is armed. But we know that Alice and Bob are done putting on their shoes and done leaving the house, and the door is locked as well. So now we can go back to our output, and everything should be done. And you can see all those steps reflected in the logs. So Alice and Bob both started getting ready. Then Bob and Alice both took between, uh, I believe, 60 to 90 seconds to get ready. Then they came back and armed the alarm together. And you can see Bob started putting on his shoes. 
The alarm it was uh, had started counting down. Alice put on their shoes as well. And then they each spent between 35 and 45 seconds to do the shoe putting on process. And then they left and locked the door together. And then sometime shortly thereafter, the alarm had been armed. And that's it. So really quickly, uh, we're a little bit over time, but I want to encourage you guys to go and uh, look back in your code and see if you can use this whole barrier pattern. Because it's very simple, but it's very powerful, and it scales up to tons of Go routines. And then one final reminder, uh, do go over to youtube.com slash go in five minutes. Uh, and if you could give me a subscription, I would absolutely love that. Or even better, if you could tell your friends, uh, I would love that too. And finally, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in, and I hope to see you next week. Take care.